while we wait for everybody to click on. What could we sing? I don't know. Uh, hi, everybody. Good morning. Hi, Evie. Oh, hi, Evie. Well, what song do you want to sing today, Betsy? Oh, I like that song. I hope you know the words. And I sure don't. Oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning till the break of day. Oh, that's good. I will sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing. Hosanna to the King of Kings, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. You like this song, Dino? Oh, I love it. How about Lou Lynn? Oh, Where you at, Lou Lynn? There she comes. She was late for church. You like it? Keep me praise until the break of day. And I will sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Here we go again. In my board, keep me chucking. For the Lord, give me gas in my board, I pray. Give me gas in my board, keep me trucking for the Lord, keep me trucking to the break of day. And I will sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna, sing, Hosanna to the King. Hi, everybody. I know this part. I don't need it. It's a long song. It is. Give me something in my Function, function. Function to the break of day. <laughs> oh, Betsy, you sing so good. Thank you. Oh, King, sing. Hosanna, sing. Hosanna, sing. Hosanna to the King. Wow, that was a fun song. Hey, man, that sure was. Wow. Well, let's get you guys a good seat. Let's scoot you guys over and let's talk a little about our Bible lesson. Now, Betsy, you and Dino will sit up. Oh, there you go. Take them off. Now, Betsy, today we're going to talk more about Cain and Abel. Uh -huh. And we're going to make some arts and crafts with the Ox Sisters. Do you guys like arts and crafts? I do. Yeah, I like arts and crafts. I do too. So who remembers out there? I want everybody to turn up your ears and listen, because at the end of our broadcast, we're going to have a quiz, and I want you to answer me in the comments, okay? So everybody, pay attention. Now, last week, we learned about the first set of brothers in the whole world, and their names was Cain and Abel. Remember that? Yeah. And when we took off from last week, Cain was in trouble. Do you remember that? Uh, kind of. Let me help you remember? Yeah. All right, let me show you these pictures. And we'll remind everybody. Now we had two brothers, all right? We had Cain and Abel. Now here's Cain. Can you guys see it out there? Cain was a farmer. Wow. Right? He growed all the food. See him out there? Cain was out there growing all the crops. 
he grows lots of stuff. He worked hard growing all his fruits and vegetables. And the other brother, his name was Abel. And Abel, Abel was a shepherd. Abel took care of sheep. See, he's holding the little lamb. He's holding a baby sheep. Wow. So we got how many brothers we got so far, Betsy? Two. Okay, and we and one's name's Cain. One's name's Abel, right? Yeah. And Cain. Let's look at it one more time. What was Cain? What was Cain's job? Cain was a, Cain was a farmer. Farmer. Right. But Abel was a shepherd. Yeah, he was a shepherd. Now you know what that means, shepherd? No. A shepherd is somebody who takes care of sheep. Wow! That was his job. He had to feed the sheep. He had to give them a bat. He had to watch them, make sure they were safe. So that's what Abel did. And that's what we've been learning about on our kids' corner here, right? It's Cain and Abel. Right. Now, Cain and Abel... At the time came when they had to bring their offerings to God. Remember this? This is a, called the recap. This is all we learned about last week. They had to bring offerings to the Lord. Remember? Yeah. Now, do anybody remember out there, what did they bring to the Lord? Remember? Uh, answer in the comments. Well, if you want to answer now, you could. Yeah, but we're going to ask you again to the end. Let's see if anybody remembers. But I'm going to help you guys remember. Cain brought an offering and Abel brought an offering. Now, Cain brought... Have we got any comments? We ain't got no comments yet. Cain brought his offering. Oh, we got a comment, Ash. Or Betsy. Oh, look. Oh. Oh. That's right. Abel brought a lamb and Cain brought the fruit from the ground. Good job. And we're going to, this is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, Cain growed all these crops and he brought them to the Lord and he said, here, Lord, here's my offering. And Abel, Abel brought a lamb. And he presented the lamb to the Lord. And God accepted Abel's offering. The Bible says God had respect. Like he he liked it, that one. But he didn't, he did not accept Cain's offering. Because Cain brought fruit. And that's not how God set it up. Betsy? No. No. Now, God gave them, this is more about what we're going to be talking about on Kids Corner, our theme. This is going to be our theme for a while. Like, Betsy, did you ever go to a birthday party? Yeah. Mm, what kind of birthday was it? Uh, I think it was uh, Ariel. Oh, so it was a little mermaid theme. That's yeah. what we would call it. So there was Ariel decorations and Ariel food. And everything was all about that Little Mermaid, right? Yeah. Well, our theme on Kids Corner is going to be we're learning about, we're going to learn a new Bible word today. You ready to say it? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. This is a, this is a Hebrew, Hebrew word. Yeah. All the people in the Bible, it was the Hebrews. Is that the word? Hebrew? Well, that's one of them, but that's not the word. We're going to be talking about this word called Everybody say it with me. Say the Torah. The Torah. <laughs> say it again. Say Torah. Torah. Did I say it right? Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. Now, if you want to be a Bible man or a Bible lady, get you a towel. And put a towel on your head. Get your costumes up. Because today we're Bible people. We're going back in time. And, oh, there you go, Betsy. We're going to be Bible ladies and Bible men. We're going to learn what happened when they brought their offerings to the Lord. Betsy's getting her costume. Let's see, Betsy. What do you got? 
Betsy's getting all dressed up in the corner over here. Oh, wow, Betsy. Are you a Bible lady? Yeah. Wow. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Betsy. Wow. That's it's kind of too big for me. Well, that is too big for you, but that, that's beautiful. That's a prayer shawl. We wasn't going to talk about that today, but we will. We'll tell you. This is what the Hebrews used to wear, and it's really special. And it reminded them all about God's word. Oh, look at a horsey. He's got his. Are you a Bible horse? Woohoo! Wow. I'm a Hebrew. See all the strings? All those strings will remind them of the Torah? Yeah. Wow. This will remind them of what God taught them, of all what God said. So, Torah is another word for the Bible. And this is the Bible. Let me show you guys the Bible. I'm sure you've got a Bible at home. Everybody got your Bibles? Now, this is what we're going to be learning about. Now, say it. I want you guys to say this with me. Are you ready, Betsy? I'm ready. In the Bible, the Bible is God's word. It's God's word. So when I ask you, we're gonna learn this. I'm gonna ask you, and you're gonna say it. What is this? You say the Bible. But what is this? The Bible. And what is the Bible? God's word. Say God's holy word. God's holy word. And what does the Bible tell us? Say everything we need to know. Everything we need to know. All right, let's practice that one more time. Oh, I gotta show you guys everybody. They're all dressed up. Ooh, Dino, yours is fancy. <laughs> ah, I'm a, I'm a Hebrew Dino. Wow. All right, ready? Let's say this. So, what is this? Now you the say Bible. Bible. And what's in the Bible? God's holy word. And what does the Bible tell us? Everything we need to know. Let's say it one more time. We're all going to memorize this. What is this? The Bible. And what's in the Bible? God's holy word. And what does the Bible tell us? Everything we need to know. Amen. So the Bible tells us everything we need to know, and it's God's holy word. And this is what God, now, way from the beginning, Betsy, now, some people say that the Torah, because we're Hebrews today, that the Torah is the law, wow. which the law tells you what to do. But this, right, this is called God's instructions. Wow, that's a big word. I know, we're saying a lot of big words today. But we're Bible people today, so we got to learn these Bible words. So the Torah is God's instruction, but before it was ever written to the Hebrews, because they got it written down. We're going to be learning about that later on. Before it was ever even written down, it always was. It says in the book of John, in the beginning was the word. So God's word always was. And God's word is Jesus. Jesus is the word. So this word of God tell, that tells us everything we need to know, Adam and Eve knew everything that they, they needed to know. And Cain and Abel was Adam and Eve's sons. So Cain's dad, his name was Adam. And Adam told them what to do when it's time to bring your offering to the Lord. God showed them what to do. Because remember, when they got kicked out of the garden, they had no clothes on? Yeah. Well, God did the very first sacrifice and made them coats of skin. Right? He made them the Remember we made the marshmallow clothes? Yeah. So God made them these clothes. So they already had the instruction, God's instruction of what to do. But in our story, it says Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and Abel brought a lamb. So now, I know we're taking a long time, but we need to get this story down. So Cain and Abel brought their offerings. Oh, Betsy, look at that bow. And God was not pleased with Cain's offering. And Cain got really, really mad. Okay. Yeah, and he was jealous. 
<clears throat> and it's, it says that his he was so mad that his anger like bubbled up in him. Did you ever just get so mad? Yeah. He got so, so mad. But God come and talk to him again. God come to give him a chance to fix things. And he said, Cain, if you do right, you'll be accepted. Cain, you need to get it right. But Cain did not get it right. Oh, no. So Cain, now this is all we learned about last week. If you watched last week's video, you'll see Dino, he did a little play and he showed us what happened. Cain got mad and he called his brother Abel and he said, let's go for a walk. And when they went for a walk, something terrible, horrible happened. Do you remember? Cain killed Abel. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh, no. I know. So, this is where we're going to finish today. Now, Abel died. What do you think is going to happen next? I don't know. What happens? Well, God come again. God come again talking to Cain. He said, Cain, where's your brother? And Cain was still kind of mad. He said, well, who am I? Am I my brother's keeper? I don't know where my brother is. Well, he's, he didn't say I don't know where he is, but he said, am I my brother's keeper? I don't know. And guess what? God knew what happened because God has eyes. Wow. Guess what he said? What he said? Oh, my gosh. Should we read it? Let's open our Bibles. Oh, so we're talking about the Torah and the Bible, right? Today we're in Genesis chapter 4. Let's read it straight from the Bible. Are we ready to read? Yeah. I'm going to read it. Betsy, do you know how to read yet? I don't uh, know. Not really. Not yet, huh? Kind of. Are you in, you're in kindergarten? Uh, yeah. Or are you in first grade? Um... I think it's kindergarten. Oh, you're in kindergarten. All right, now we're in Genesis chapter 4. Okay, now let's find a verse. Now, verse 7, God told him, if you do well, you, won't you be accepted? And if you don't do well, sin is lying at your door. Gosh. And that's what happened, right? So he killed his brother in verse 8. Now here's verse 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel, your brother? And he said, I don't know. Well, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And God said, what have you done? <gasps> the voice of your brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. From oh, the ground? Oh, my goodness. What? God knew. God knew what happened. Can you believe that? Genius, guys. I can't believe that. Well, that's what? what it says. Wow. Yes, I know that this story is kind of scary, ain't it? Yeah. The voice of your brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. And now, Cain, you are cursed from the earth. Cain, you're in big trouble. And when you try and grow stuff from the ground, it's not going to grow no more. And you're going to have to wander all around. And you, you're, you're just, you just got to leave from here, Cain. You have to leave. Now, here's what I want to tell you guys today. Cain, Cain was in trouble, right? Yeah. And there's two types of people in the world. And this is where it, the very first start, because we're learning all about the beginnings. There's two kinds of people in the world. Here's some more Bible words we're going to learn today. And this is going to be on your quiz. So turn, everybody, turn up your ears. Can you do that? I know. Let me help you. Everybody, turn up your ears. Betsy, you got ears? Uh, turn them up. Yeah. Okay. There's, this is what the Bible calls them. Number one is the wicked. The wicked. That's bad. And number, that, is that like the mean snake? Yes. Remember the mean snake's kingdom? This is when it all started. 
There's the wicked and the righteous. Wow. Two the types. Righteous. Two types of people. Because every watch, Betsy, did you ever get in trouble? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did Did your mom ever tell you to do something and you didn't do it? Yeah. Well, that's called sin. Sin is when we disobey God's instruction in the Bible. This is what happened here. But listen to what Cain says. I want to read it to you. Let's find a verse. Verse 10. What did you do when your the blood's crying? You're cursed, right? And Cain said to the Lord. Now Cain's talking to God. You ever talk to God? Yeah. We talk to him when we pray, right? Yeah. He's Cain's talking to God. He said, My punishment is greater than I can bear. You you're you're driving me out of the land. And from your face, I'm going to be hidden. And I'm going to have to wander all around. And whenever I run into somebody, they're going to want to kill me. Uh-oh. Hey. Now, Cain was not sorry for oh. what he did. Cain did not repent. Instead, like this This sounds like, 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 oh, gee, like, oh, poor Cain. But this is Cain's unrepented heart. Cain's heart did not want to repent because he was wicked. This was, and I'm using all big words today. This was his response. Like if I, if I give you a gift, right? Right. Okay, here. Like, here, I bought you a pet. No. Oh, oh, I love it. That's your, that's your response, right? That's how, that's how, when somebody tells you something or gives you something, how you act back, right? Right. Or if I, let's say if I give you a gift, I'm going to give you this gift and you don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. Ready? Okay. Here, want some glasses? Yeah, that's ugly. See, that was her response. So Cain's response to all of this was not, was not to get his heart right and to love God and to do, to be friends with God. Cain was all worried about himself, and Cain had a bad attitude. Cain was mad. Because he was in the mean kingdom, right? Yes. Like the mean snake. So he, yeah. Now, in 1 John, I'm telling you about the wicked and the righteous. I want to read it to you. Today we're going to read it. No. He listened to the mean snake. He did. Now, in 1 John chapter 3. Now, verse 1, now if you read this whole chapter, it's so nice. Now, Abel, you know, we know Abel loved God, right? Right. Abel was friends with God. Abel had faith of what, uh, that Jesus was coming. And when you do that, when you put your faith in Jesus and love him and obey him, listen to what it says, what we're called in verse 1. <clears throat> it says, behold, that means like, <gasps> look. Look how much God loves us. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called the sons of God. Amen. We are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Now listen to verse 12. Now verse 12 tells us how what I'm telling you about. Uh, it's, the chapter's talking about we should love one another and follow God, right? Right. Now verse 12 says, not like Cain, who was of the wicked one, and slew his brother. That means killed. Oh. And when he killed him, why did he kill him? It says, and wherefore? That means why? Why did he kill him? Because his own works were evil and his brothers were righteous. Wow. So Cain. There's the two words again. There's the two words we're about. The wicked and wicked. bad and evil. Cain was evil and he. Well, he followed the evil one, which is the mean snake. Yeah, the mean snake. And Abel was righteous. That's, that's the righteous, yeah. Right. So. From God's family. Right. So we got two types of people. I'm going to ask you one more time. Number one is the wicked. Who joined the wicked team? Uh, King. And who was the seed of the righteous? 
Uh, Abel? Abel. Yeah. That's right. And everybody gets in trouble sometimes. But what, what makes you the righteous is how you respond to sin. How your heart responds. Either there's good responses and bad responses. Let's do it one more time. There you go. Look at this. Do you like that? Oh, I love it. Thank oh. you. Or do, how about this? Do you like this? Uh, no, that's ugly. Get right. that out of here. So our heart needs to have a good response. But now here's, here's the response. When we do bad things and not obey the Torah, God's instruction, I want to read you one more scripture. We're, we're having Bible study this morning. So yes. we're Hebrews. Amen. Now we're going to go. I love the Torah. I do too. Now we're going to go. It keeps me safe. Amen. It does. Now we're going to go in Psalms. This is man's response to sin. This is how you should respond. I think it's Psalms 32. Let me look at my note. I, I got a Bible note for you today. Yeah, Psalms 32. So if you got a Bible, everybody find Psalms. Psalms 32. 32. Now, this man, this Bible man, God told him what to write. His name was David. David. And this is how David responds to sin. So listen to the scriptures. Now just turn up your ears and listen, and I'll explain this to you. I just want to read it. You ready, Betsy? Yeah. It says, blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Now, transgression is a big Bible word, but it means sin. And what is sin? They don't follow God's instructions. Amen. Betsy, you're going to be a teacher someday. Ooh. So blessed means happy and fortunate and to be envied, if you want to know to amplified. But blessed is something good. Blessed is the man whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity. And in, all well, these are big words. Let me skip some more. But David is, David is talking in his song about his sin and about talk, telling God about his sin. He said, when I kept silent, my bones waxed old, true to roaring all day long. That means he was so upset and miserable. I know these are weird words. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. And David had a hard time because he had sin. Wow. But verse 5, I acknowledge my sin unto you. David's talking to God. And my iniquity I did not hide. I did, I did Cain. Remember we're talking about Cain and Abel. Did Cain hide his sin when God came looking for him? He said, oh, Cain, where's your brother? What do you think? Uh, did Cain try and hide his sin? Yeah, yeah he did. Because he said, am I my brother's keeper? Look, we got Gabe watching. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Are you listening? Hi, Lena. So Cain had tried to hide his sin, but not David. Listen to what David did. I acknowledge that means like I, I know I'm a sinner, and I'm going to tell you, Lord, all about it. I acknowledge my sin to you, Lord, and I did not hide my iniquity. I said, I will confess <clears throat> my transgre transgressions unto the Lord, who forgives my iniquities of my sin. <clears throat> Amen? Amen. For this shall everyone that is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found. Surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come near unto him. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. This is all about the righteous. This is the good benefits of when you're right, when you're right with God, the righteous. God hides you from trouble. He'll keep you safe. He goes all around you with songs of deliverance. <clears throat> now God's going to talk back. Are you listening, Betsy? Yeah. He says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go, and I will guide you. So how? So we talk to God when we pray, right? Yeah. 
Now, how does God talk back? Through the, his word. Through the word. God's instructions, the Torah. And the righteous, this was the righteous man's response. When we sin, we don't hide it. We tell God all about it. And we tell him, Lord, I'm so sorry for what I did because I hurt you, Jesus. Lord, will you forgive me? And he does when you repent. But that's not what Cain did. Cain, Cain left. Oh, look at that. Wow. Gabe's birthday's in two days. Two days. Let's see. Wow. Today's Sunday. His birthday's Tuesday. Wow, he's going to be 10. That's a big birthday. You want to tell him happy birthday? Well, it's not his birthday yet. Okay, well, it's in two days. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Early birthday. So, I know we talked a lot of words this morning, but there's two kinds of people. Here's, here's our review. You ready, Betsy? I want you to say, say the wicked. The wicked. And the righteous. And the righteous. So Cain got kicked out. Cain got in trouble and he got kicked out from the presence of God. And he built a city full of mean, wicked people. Oh, this was the headquarters of the mean snakes family. Uh-oh. Yeah. And they got more and more bad and wicked. <gasps> really bad. So that's what happened to Cain. So I've been talking your ear off for a very long time, but we're gonna we we have to go to our ox sisters and make our craft, and then I'm gonna tell you one more thing, and we're gonna be done for today. So let's see if they're out there. Oh, Hillary, Amanda, are you out there? Um, I don't see her. Oh, oh, Hi. there she is. Can you guys hear me, ox sister? Hi. Hi. Where's Amanda Ox? Uh, I think something happened to her phone. Oh. Let me text her. Oh, look, there she is. Let's add her. There. Oh, here she comes. There she is. All right, we're going to make some room on the screen while you guys do arts and crafts, and we'll come back to see you. So okay. we'll be watching. Hi everybody, how are you all doing today? Hi kids. Can you hear me Hill? Uh, you're breaking up a little bit. Okay, if you can hear me, today we're gonna be drawing a picture of Cain and Abel. Get all your supplies, your scissors, your glue, whatever you wanna use today. We're gonna draw a picture, one's gonna be Cain. And one guy is going to be Abel. And Cain, we're going to make him a sad face. And Abel, we're going to make him a happy face. And then on top of him, we're going to be drawing something. What's well, something that's really gross to you? Like, oh, that's gross. I won't eat that. Draw that on top of Cain. And then draw a line from it. Then, on top of Abel... Draw something that you really like. I like chocolate. I like chocolate and I like candy. Anything sour. Even lemons. So we're drawing our picture. Hillary's going to tell us about the story. Okay. Hi, kids. How's everybody doing today? Good to see you guys. So we're going to be talking about what Missy Ox was telling us today about Cain and Abel, right? They was the brothers. Do we remember that Cain was a farmer and Abel took care of all the sheep? So in this story, we see how Cain brought all this big, beautiful fruit and he offered it to God and Abel came and offered a lamb to God, right? And we see that Cain's offering didn't get accepted, but Abel's did. Look at this picture, kids. This tells us everything. See how Abel offered a lamb? And see how Cain offered all that fruit that he got from the ground that he grew himself? And see a cross behind him? 
Well, the reason why Abel's offering was accepted is because he didn't do it through himself. That shows a picture of when we give our life to God and we decide to follow his ways and we don't try to do it our ways. But Cain was trying to do it all his way because Cain wanted to be his own boss. So because he wanted to be his own boss, he did it all on his own. All his own efforts and Cain didn't follow God's instruction. But Abel did. So the lamb shows a picture of when we decide to follow Jesus, because Jesus is the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And the only way to God is through Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we cannot get to God unless through him. And Cain didn't go that way. But Abel did go that way. Abel went through Jesus. But Cain did not. Cain went his own way. And that's why his offering wasn't accepted. So don't be like Cain. Be like Abel and take God's instruction and follow it. And guess what? If you mess up, just come to God and tell him that you messed up. And he'll forgive you. And choose to follow his instruction because he loves you and he cares about you. We're his family. We don't have to hide from him. Amanda, you got anything to say on that? We do not have to hide from God. That's right, yo. All because of Jesus. All because of Jesus. Huh? Are you done with your craft? Can we see it? Done right now. On my chocolate bar. I'm so excited to see all your kids' crafts. Make sure you post them on Kids Corner. Yeah, let's post our crafts on Kids Corner. And then draw a line from Abel to the candy. And cane to the vegetables that you don't like. I don't like Brussels sprouts. Oh, no Brussels sprouts, huh? Yeah, I don't like Brussels sprouts. See, cane. So there's cane and there's Abel. So, kids, what we can really learn from this story is that Cain decided to do it all on his own. See that picture? There's that picture again. Jesus gave us a way. And that way to follow God is through him. See how Cain did? It wasn't so much that Abel uh, gave up this lamb that made him good. But it was that he, it was the fact that he went through Jesus with it. He didn't go his own way. He decided to follow God's instruction, the Torah. And Cain did not. Cain wanted to do it all on his own. And that's why his offering was not accepted. The only way we can follow God is with Jesus. We don't have to do it by ourselves or on our own. And when we do mess up, it's okay. We just have to come to him and tell him that we're sorry and repent and turn away from it. And he'll help us. He really, really does care about you. So what we got to remember is the only way to God is through Jesus. It's not of yourself. You can't do it by yourself. I came. That's it. Cain and Abel. Do you remember whose sacrifice God was pleased with? Cain's or Abel? Abel. So Abel. Back. Do you have anything else to say, Hill? I think that's oh. all. On our paper, let's write our memory verse. Our memory oh, verse. our memory verse. Genesis 4 2. Genesis 4 2. Yep. Genesis 4 2. And that says. All right. Genesis 4 2 says. And she again, no, no, not for two, for twelve. For twelve, Genesis four twelve. For two. This is gonna read us our memory verse. Go back to make the ox. Hi, Betsy. Hi. 
Uh, Genesis what? Four. Four, two, right? We don't our memory verse, Betsy. Okay. Let me pull it up. <laughs> Got it, Betsy? Yeah. Okay, let's learn this memory verse. And she? Again. Again. Bear his brother, Abel. Wait, that's our memory verse? Uh, I don't think so. Is it the Genesis one, 4 2? It's the one about the killer of the ground and the something, keeper of the sheep. We'll get back to the memory verse. We got something cool. Ready? Ready. Okay, let's do this. I'm Cain and I'm evil. <laughs> and I'm leaving. Cause God kicked me out. <laughs> I'm going to build uh, my main kingdom. <laughs> See you later, losers. <laughs> oh. oh, Adam, I'm Eve. Oh, Eve, what are we gonna do? We ain't got no more kids. What? Well, how? What are we gonna do about the promise seed? Jesus. I don't know. Jesus. Uh, Jesus, I thought he was coming from us. Oh, I don't know. Oh. What's going to happen? Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Keep me gas in my port, I pray. 
Keep me dancing, my poor. Keep me jumping for the Lord. Keep me jumping to the break of day. And I will sing, who's in the sing, who's in the sing, who's in the to the king of kings. Sing, who's in the sing, who's in the sing, who's in the to the king. I can't keep my costume on. Function, function, function. Function in my country, my friend. This is a weird song. Function, function, function. Function till the break of day. Hosanna, sing. Hosanna, sing. Hosanna. We can sing Hosanna. Oh, okay. God gave Adam and Eve and a baby. Hallelujah. Today. Man, we've been on a long time. I hope we still got some viewers. Now it's time for our quiz. Now, if you're out there, even if you're a big kid, whatever age you are, answer us in the comments. You gotta fix our comments, Betsy, where we can read. Let's see. Okay, so let's have our quiz about what we learned today. Now we learned there was two brothers. Now, if any of our students know their names, can you tell us the names? What was the names of these two brothers? It was the very first brothers in the world. Let's see if anybody knows. Anybody the out there? I don't know. Everybody might be getting ready for church or falling asleep. I don't know. But I guess we're going to have to remind them. The two, here's the answer, Betsy. For number one, number the one. name of the two brothers, do you remember? Cain and Abel. Right? Hey, look. Oh, look. All right. Game got one point. Way to go, Gabe. All right. Now, see, here comes the hard questions. There's two types of people in the Bible and in the world. Who remembers when uh, Cain, I know, he was the bad guy? What are the bad people called? <laughs> what are we called when we joined the mean kingdom? Mm, this was a weird Bible word. Anybody know the answer? I'm going to tell you. The wicked. <laughs> oh, look. Oh. All right. We got Gabe out there answering these questions. So the bad kingdom, the bad people is called the wicked, right? But there's another name for the people that love the Lord and obey his instructions. It's a big Bible word. Does anybody remember that word? Betsy, do you know that answer? Are you want me to answer? Yeah, there's the wicked and the righteous. Amen. Amen. So there's the wicked and then there's the righteous. So that's the two types of people we learned about. Now, let's try and quiz you on what Hillary learned us. Hillary learned us some really good stuff. Now, there was two things that we seen on the picture. I wonder if we look at that picture one more time. Oh, let's try it. One second, guys, and then we're going to let you go. Now, let's look at the picture. Cain and Abel, right? They brought two offerings. What did Cain bring to the Lord? Anybody know? Hmm. I think it's a delay, you know. Yeah, there is a delay. What do you think, Betsy? Uh, what's the question? What kind of offering did Cain bring to the Lord? 
Oh, Cain was a farmer, so he probably gave fruit. Right. Very good. Oh, I got it right. You got it right. Oh, look, Gabe oh. got it right too. Fruit. Very good. But now Abel, <laughs> Abel was brought a gift too. What did Abel bring? Well, let's remember what Abel was. What was he? He was a shepherd. Right. So he took care of sheep. So what do we think he bring? What do you think, Dino? Uh, Where are you at? Oh, did he bring some steaks? Oh, no, not uh, steaks. Look, Gabe fish? answered it. Did he bring fish? No. Look, a lamb. Oh, all right. Good job, Gabe. I see the picture now. Ah. So, now here's a tough question. <clears throat> God accepted Abel's offering, but not Cain's. Why does anybody out there want to answer us? Why? I wonder if Lena's still watching us. Why was Cain's offering not accepted? Now that's a hard one. Elena, do you know? Everybody put your thinking caps on and think about that one real hard. Jack, you out there? Amy? Anna? Zephaniah? Mason? Where's everybody at? Are you brushing their teeth? Hmm. Why was Cain's offering not accepted? Look at the picture. Oh, we got an answer. See what Gabe said. Because it was it was not a lamb. Oh. Did I read it right? Yeah. Because it wasn't a lamb. That's a good answer. Now, I got a real good one more question. Just because, just because Abel brought that lamb, did that make Abel good? No. What did that lamb? That lamb was like a pitcher. What is a little lamb? I lost it. Must be sleeping. Here it is. Little lamb. The lamb on the altar was a pitcher. It was showing us something. What was this lamb on the altar? A picture of. Does anybody out there know? Let's see if Gabe or Mason or Ezekiel. I don't. Let's see. Maybe we got some big kids watching. Ryan. Who else we got? Alyssa and Emma. Renee and Richie. Our picture. If you're confused. See. Adam. Who else we got? Bubba. Let's let's get her up all the lambs. We even got some babas out there. Heidi. Oh, look, look. Yeah. Hey. Amen. Woo. So the lamb was a picture of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, now here's a bonus question. Let's see if anybody paid attention to our big Bible study that we had at the start. Here's the bonus question. Today we talked about the Torah, right? Remember that Hebrew Bible word? What does the word Torah mean? Hmm. Do we know? It now it, we know it's the Bible, but it means something. A very simple, two very simple but very important words of what Torah is. <clears throat> Let me tell you, Betsy. Yeah. God's instruction. Wow. So say it. Say the Torah. The Torah is God's. Is God's instruction. Instructions. Oh look, <gasps> this is a good answer. Wow, good job, Lena. Oh, Lena, you're so smart. I 
I hear another song. We're singing all day. Are you singing, Betsy? So let's remember this this week. The Bible is God's word, right? Yes. And the Bible tells us what? God's instruction. And everything we need and to know. And everything we need to know. So we're going to work on that this week. Go back and watch this video. At the start when we said that little thing, we say, what is this? It's the Bible. And what is the Bible? It's God's holy word. And what does the Bible tell us? Everything we need to know. Can you guys hear the song? And should we sing while we uh, look how long we've been going? We got one more minute. Betsy's going to get in the camera and sing us out. We're going out with a song. B-I-D-L-E. The B-I-D-L-E. That's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-D-L-E. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-D-L-E. That's the Torah. Amen. Amen. We'll see you next time on Kids Corner. Bye, everybody.